Then he says that experience is prior to any knowledge or any object or any vision or whatever. Experience is prior. Wrong. Experience is, does not exist in a vacuum, as thou art that thinks it does. Experience is not some perfect platonic form over there and reality is over here on the other side. Experience occurs only when reality touches something that is experiencing, like a human being that has eyeballs, for example. There is no seeing without something to see. There is no knowing without something to know. There is no hearing without something to hear. There is no such thing as experience being separate from or pristine or different. Or Experience implies a thing that is experienced. Um, Then he quotes, undoubtedly, some modern philosopher, our knowing is a doing, and our doing is a knowing. Which is just confusing two concepts. Um, to do something is to carry out an activity in reality. And to know something is to gather information in from reality. Um, so, to gather information in from reality means that we have to gather information. Sure, that's just already implied in what knowing is. And to do, that means that we have to do things, and we take, take action in reality. Um, so they're saying that knowing is a verb, and doing is a verb. I mean, it's the most unprofound thing that any philosopher's ever said. Now at about 8.45 in the movie, video, he says, you're probably going to say that this is all completely irrational. I see it coming. Well, you're probably actually not going to say anything at all. Yeah, he got me. This one pissed me off so bad I had to say something. And we see now why, in spite of the many times he has done video responses to my videos, and the many times he's commented, not too many video responses, but many times he's commented and such, uh, there's just nothing I have to say. Because it's just scattered nonsense. Now, he's better than scientific discussion, who doesn't even have the creativity to come up with scattered nonsense. Scientific discussion just mumbles stuff about not getting your resources or you're, you know, not, not citing resources correctly. Uh, so here this guy comes at least with the vigor to say something. At least to, he, I mean, he confuses himself and other people, right? Scientific discussion can't even do that much. Um, we have to still give Azrinok and Zorio more credit because they are confusing with some credibility. But uh, thou art that, I'm afraid, is sloppy sloppier than Azrinok, which I didn't know if I would see ever again. You know, I read some excerpts from his book, uh, The uh, Absurdity of Azrinok's Philosophy, or The Absurdity of Philosophy, by S just Jeff Smith DeLuc, and, uh, and uh, that was head and shoulders above the disorganized rambling of Thou Art That. So, to end this video, rough as I've been, I just have to say I praise him for watching my videos, and I hope someday he turns on his brain and starts thinking.